Your organization's data is a lucrative target for hackers. This makes your storage and backup systems one of the most important layers of defense against ransomware. Want to see how hackers can get in and what kind of damage they can do? In this scenario, the hackers want to do everything possible to force a bank to pay ransom. They do this by destroying the bank's data and its backup copies to prevent recovery of the data. The hackers compromise an employee's PC and infect it with malware. Within a few hours, they infect other employee devices and eventually find the login details to the bank's backup systems. The hackers discover that a large portion of the backups can be deleted. However, some of the backups are stored on immutable media, which cannot be deleted. The hackers now decide to step it up a notch to prevent the bank from recovering their data. With time on their side, they begin poisoning the new backups. They do this by gradually replacing the backed up data with junk data. The hackers now wait as the bank gradually backs up less real data and more junk data. After a few months, with the immutable backup files now poisoned, the attackers start to delete the rest of the backup files stored in the regular storage. They also begin encrypting the production data. Now the bank is alerted. The infrastructure team tried to restore the data only to find that most of the backup is gone. And the only copies left are 90 days old. All the new records, transactions, and customer information are poisoned. The bank is left with very little choice but to pay the ransom. In this scenario, the hackers were successful because the bank didn't have any way to detect configuration changes to their backup and to secure against unauthorized changes. Storage Guard would have prevented this scenario by continuously scanning the bank's backup systems and automatically detecting vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. Book your storage risk assessment to see how secure your storage and backup environment is.